Our day in Mahawal, Costa Maya, would start maybe around 5, 5.30 in the morning. We'd be up, getting cleaned up, go and have breakfast, and head down to the cruise ship terminal to watch the people getting off the ships. And in peak season, you'll have, like I said before, one, two, possibly as many as three cruise ships berth. They come in very early in the morning, and that gives people a chance to take in their shore excursions, do all the activities, and by the evening, they're back on board and heading to the next uh, port during the night. So you have a nice dinner, I guess, and uh, all the activities, go have a sleep, you wake up in the morning, and you're in another port. Kind of like a surreal experience, I imagine. Again, like I said, we've never been on a cruise, but... Uh, it was really fantastic watching this and being a part of it, taking all these uh, excursions. We, we had so many activities that uh, we were usually quite exhausted by the end of the day. But uh, it was fun hanging around this area because we learned so much. And that's one of the things you do when you travel, <laughs> you learn. Do you have your tickets? Are you coming Actually, with them? we are part of uh, Grupo uh, Cancun. We're filming. Uh, okay. Then you're probably not with me. I believe it's with Gerardo. Really? And I guess I shouldn't have said you learn. We learned because we, we're engaging people. We're noticing stuff. You know, you don't have a chance to reshoot things. We're always filming. So you have to be at your peak and uh, position yourself. You don't know what's going to happen next. It, it, it's, I really enjoy it. But like I said, we learned a lot of stuff, and it's, Mahawal is such a cool little place. It used to be just a small fishing village, totally dependent on fishing, a few hundred people. Today it's totally dependent wow. on tourism. And as Cindy says, wow. If you ever watched the movie uh, March of the Penguins or heard about it, well, come early in the morning off the cruise ships, it's like March of the Cruise Ship Passengers. Thousands of people can get off if there's multiple cruise ships in the port. And the whole area swells with population. The beaches in Mahawal, the taxis are running, stores are busy, restaurants are serving food. People are out on the beach getting uh, massages, suntans, getting served with beer and whatever. It's, it's just such a vibrant place. And then all together come off the ship. Or so. No, I think it's at about 30%. 30% come off the ship. We were told that approximately 30% of the passengers get off the ship. So it is a couple of thousand people pumped into an area almost instantaneously. But the really weird thing about this is that come evening, as all the passengers do the return trip like Sam and going back upstream, now they're heading back to the cruise ships, getting on board, and the cruise ships leave and go to the next port during the night, so in the morning the whole uh, ritual is repeated. Mahawal empties out, and it's the coolest, quietest, most peaceful place you can imagine. Stroll along the beach, walk along the boardwalk, totally quiet, very few people, because the people that are working in the tourism industry they're tired, so they're heading off to get rest for the next day's adventure. It's a, it's a really peaceful, cool place to visit. <laughs> 